and then they, uh, about eight o'clock, they launched the invasion. How long you were you in Calm? Oh, only about a week. Mm. Only about a week. We had to take it. Mm. It was a pivotal town, you know. Mm. We had to take it. I'll tell you what, I'll never see so many de dead bad. Mm. I'll never see... I don't want to talk, I don't want to talk. That wasn't a good memory. No. Oh. No. But leaving Carl must have been a good, good for oh, you. Oh yes, yeah, yeah. We took it. Roddy Moon went. Fred up. Well, they died. Yeah, they all died uh, on there. And then they pulled us out after about three weeks and we got ready to take the bridges in Holland. I'm a silly old man, you know that, don't you? Well, some of those memories must be difficult for you. Hey? Some of the memories must be difficult. Yeah, they are. They are, because they were friends, and we were friends all, all through. We, we, 21 men in, in, in my platoon, all together, joined the air, Airborne. And, uh, and the first battle we all went into was uh, North Africa, and funny enough, we didn't seem to suffer so much in North Africa. I think one or two, and I got caught. Of course, I got wounded, and uh, and it was it must have been about twelve months before I got back. Uh, and because uh, they they kept looking at, kept uh, looking at the X-rays mm. and whether I could jump or not. And in the end, they made it. Mm. No, no, you can't jump. Right. In case you, uh, I used to jump though. Mm. I used to uh, beg a ride in an airplane and and jump with the blokes in there. That's all in Wiltshire. That was. Yeah. So the 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 town you were talking about, that's Chester, isn't it? Sorry. Chester. The hospital was at Chester with the Twisted Spire. Chester's got the Twisted Spire. Chesterfield. Yeah. Chesterfield. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Chesterfield. Yeah. I was in that hospital there. Yeah. Yeah. He made a big fuss for me. Because I was only a young lad, you know. 19 or 18 or 19. I was, I just left school and I was, and the war started and I joined up. Put my age on. How much did you tell them? I said I was 18. Right. And I was about 15 then mm. and uh, they didn't take any notice no they didn't treat me any differently so what happened after you first joined sorry what happened after you first joined oh well, we, we went on a three month fitness campaign right we, you know um, route marches Doubling with the rifle and bayonet and, uh, and full equipment and uh, and uh, after a month they uh, you went and see a doctor 
and I, he said, yes, yes, yes. And he said, uh, I don't think you'd be allowed to jump. Oh, no, I, I, wasn't, I wasn't wounded then. Now, we're um, talking about just before the war had just started. Yeah. You'd enlisted at 15, saying yeah. you were 18. Yeah, and uh, uh, I, I uh, heard about the... No, we went on the exercise. Right. But did did you did you do did, the war had already started? Because there was the in, the British army was in in France, wasn't it? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I I'll, I'll I'll keep forgetting about that. We we came out very quick. Where'd you come out from? Le Havre. We all got on a uh, a ship. A, a naval ship and a destroyer and uh, there's bloody thousands of us. So when did you volunteer for the airborne? Oh, uh, we went on the exercise. Mm -hmm. And uh, the bloke popped his head up and he said, bang, you're dead. And I said, where are you? What regiment are you? He said, the Airborne, Parachute Regiment. I said, he said, you don't have to march anywhere. You either go by lorry or by airplane. I thought that will suit me. And I, I volunteered for it. And... Uh, I didn't have any trouble with my age from then onwards. I uh, I went to a doctor, and he said, "Yes, you you can okay, you're okay." And uh, I went to what was I saying that name was? You didn't give a name. So didn't give Chester. a name. Chester. Chesterfield. That was when you were wounded, yeah, Chesterfield. They, they had a training camp at Chester. All right. And I went up there, I think it was three months. And when I came away, I was a fully trained uh, uh, parachutist. And uh, how did you practice jumping? What did you jump from? You jumped from the platform first. Mm. It, it had a... It had a... It was controlled by... Weights? No, no, it's controlled by a fan. Oh, okay. Yeah, you jumped off and then you went down, this fan slowed you down. I suppose it went in the opposite direction. Anyway, we thought it was bloody good. And uh, uh, we had done about three or four maybe seven jumps on the on that and then you done all your exercises and and marching and uh, of course we weren't loaded like the infantry we like light order march and uh, i suppose after about six weeks we went to uh, Manchester Airfield, Ringway. Right. Is that still the airport? I don't know. Ringway, probably. Yeah. Well, that was a airfield in the end days. Mm -hmm. And uh, we done one jump off of a... I don't know what you call it now, but we you had a fan go round, and that slowed you down. Yeah. And uh, and then we had three or more jumps, uh, all from the ground, like you know. And then one day they came in and they said, "This lot are doing an airplane jump today," and we used to jump through a hole in the floor. Till the Americans came in, mm. and then we we used to jump out a door. Mm. 
which was dead easy. Because mm. if you if you rung the bell, you smash your face against the oncoming aircraft. Where the where the if you didn't go when he said, you would uh, uh, ring the bell, and that was. Uh, meeting the aircraft and smashing into your face mm. and that would send you tumbling out and if you if you if you if you tumbled out into a parachute you was dead yeah did it happen to anybody did oh it, did yeah. It? yeah 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 anyone get their face you know smashed because yeah. they Everybody, I was always quiet. They, they used to say to me, you're quiet, then. I thought, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to make a bloody fool of myself. And uh, But the bloke who jumped before me he used to scream. And the first time he done it, I, I, I said, you do that again to me, mate, and I'll kick your face in. And he, anyway, he he, uh, he always used to shout. And then till we got the American aircraft, what were they called? Dakotas. Dakota. Yeah. Dakota Nine. Oh, it was easy. You should get up. And there was a wire running down. Everybody got up, put their wire on. Sergeant would go along and check everybody. And uh, then they said jump, and you just filed. No, you didn't have to what file. The people at the back pushed you. Yeah. And, and you came out all in the tight compound, you know. So it took, I think it took a platoon of men. What's that? 32 men, fully lambered. And uh, you all dropped it together. You know, you could talk to each other coming down. 